Some of the biggest excitement surrounding this Rams team this offseason was the addition of outside linebacker Clay Matthews. I talked to a couple of the coaches who said that even if Matthews can't do what he did on all three downs his entire career, will benefit this team with his third down pass rush ability. Matthews has actually been training right up the road in Thousand Oaks with a couple of Rams players for the past couple of off seasons. From your college tape, we can tell that you can run from the shotgun as well as collect passing routes. What skills did you work on most to perfect that for the NFL? It just, you got to go out and work hard every day, each and every day. What do you feel that you bring to the table for this team the most? It does. I feel like I can uh, be a playmaker. And you're going to be around one of the most elite running backs in the league. What are you most excited about to learn from Todd Gurley? It does everything. Like, he is a great player and uh, he is a great role model. It was an exciting showdown in Staples Center tonight where the Bucks took down the Clippers. One name you didn't see out there, Paul George. There are reports, however, saying that he could be active as soon as next week. This could be exactly what the Clippers need. George is coming off of his best season in his career. Another name you didn't see out there, Kawhi Leonard. This is a touchy subject in the NBA. The league has actually asked teams to not sit their star players on nationally televised games. However, the league is backing Kawhi on this one, saying that they understand he's not healthy enough to play in back-to-back -back games. Cooper, your father played in the NFL. Your grandfather was a legend. You had a stellar rookie season. What does it mean for you to carry on the cup legacy in this league? Oh, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just super cool to be a part of this. The Cowboys' first preseason game is this Saturday, and the roster is already taking some hits. Starting defensive end Robert Quinn left practice Tuesday with a left hand fracture. Quinn was sent back to Dallas and is undergoing surgery and is expected to be back before the season opener. Good news considering that Jason Garrett had great praise for him today, saying that he is an instinctive pass rusher who truly gets to the quarterback. Sully, your birthday is next week. Happy early birthday. Thank you very much. You'll be turning 33, you know, in the real world, you're still a baby, but out here, you're going to be one of the old guys. How does that feel? Uh, I can feel it, I'll say that. <laughs> I can feel it physically. Growing up in the league, my favorite part was coming out here, playing with my dad on the field after practice. What is that like to have your son out here with you? It's the best thing ever. The XFL's Los Angeles Wildcats have partnered with the Los Angeles Unified School District. Part of this partnership will be a football clinic of coaches coaching coaches. The Los Angeles Wildcat coaching staff will be teaching the high school football coaches everything from football philosophy to techniques. Another part of this partnership will be LA students and teachers being honored at the Wildcats home games. Jared, last season the Rams went from one of the worst teams in the NFL to one of the best. What do you say that led to that comeback? Well, aside from Coach Cromer, there's a lot of things that did. Uh... <laughs> now let's talk about you for a second because you were just named one of five under the radar candidates for 2018 NFL MVP. And it's just your third season in the NFL. How does that feel? <laughs> That doesn't mean much, really. Rams fans' favorite part is the trick plays, especially when Johnny Hecker is QB. Do you think we'll see any this year? Maybe, like, we could put in a good word for a Hecker to Whitworth connection? I would love that. You know, that would take some creative formation. You're a four-time Pro Bowler going into your eighth season with the Rams. What does the community and the fan support truly mean to this team? It means a ton. You know, there, there are so many opportunities. And we traded him for that first-round pick. You think if he was in the draft this year, that's where he would have gone? We would have picked him up then? Oh, well, if he was... Uh in the draft this year, he would be gone before we picked. So uh, we're getting a good, good deal with this guy. I think y'all came out on top. Thank you so much.